Hey, this looks familiar. I saw this thing before, but I don't know where. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. That. Hey, it's the original Ratchet and Clank. We're playing it. Well, Kalon is. I'm just sitting here making noise. Yep. It's really weird compared to the rest of the series because everybody's a jerk, and we're going to see why. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Alright, so you'll notice that I did not have subtitles turned on during the cutscenes. This is because subtitles in Ratchet and Clank are really wonky and they don't show up about half the time. Also, I'm fixing the camera and then I'm going to turn off the tutorial shit because I can explain all this faster. So, this is the first Ratchet and Clank. Dig those PS2 menus. I know. We're playing the HD version that was re-released. It's got really nice graphics. They just upscaled everything. But there is a few problems that arise from it that don't show up in the actual game themselves, but do show up in the recording. Also, you only start out with one weapon, the bomb glove, and you'll notice something different right away from the rest of the Ratchet and Clank games. Weapons do not gain experience. When you've bought a weapon, that's it. You're done with it. No, uh, we're back to having actually physically touched bolts and pick them up. Uh, pretty much. Bolt range in this is really, really weird, and also, you can tell right away, the game gets some super inflation, because by now I probably have like a thousand bolts in most of the other games, but right now I only have a third of that. Another weird thing is that you only have four hits, at least to begin with. You can eventually get more hits, but it's not the same as the other games where you just get it from killing enemies. You actually have to buy them, and even then you still don't get very many hits. So it's pretty hard because you only have four hit points to work with for about half the game. Whenever Ratchet just goes on a walk, he apparently just destroys half the local thing. Well, yeah. To be fair, they're trying to kill him first. Maybe that's because he slaughtered their ancestors. Maybe. I mean, like... This is his home planet. Or at least as close to a home planet as he gets. Well, you spoiled the game, man. Oh, I know, right? But, like... You have to wonder... What the hell does he have to go through every time he wants to go for a walk like 20 feet away from his house?
the bombs are really good at taking care of things at a medium range, but as soon as they move anything farther away than like, I don't know, 20 feet, then you're fucked. But they also have a nice area effect, so... They're pretty useful, but they just get really weak later in the game. And I'm trying to get both at once here. Just everything when I kill him. I don't know, like, the, the robots... I don't know why the robots want to kill him, because they never explain this. These robots never come up ever again. Maybe they're like environmental protection robots. It's like, stop killing all our mammals. <laughs> we need those. We need those to, like, regulate stuff. I don't know what mammals are supposed to do. Aside from be assholes. Yeah, we... Mammals are kind of assholes. Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my- We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed! Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. 
This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. So yeah, Ratchet has a completely different voice actor for this game. Oh, hold on, hold Like, on. completely different. Hold on, shut up. Hi there, this guy boy. and this line is what I remember most from the first Ratchet playing. Nothing <laughs> else. When I think Ratchet <laughs> Clank, that is what I think of, and I have no idea why. Yeah, the voices are really, really weird. And you'll also notice that Ratchet's kind of a huge jerk. Like, it's not too bad right now, but give it a couple of videos. He will just be the most unlikable hero for a really long time. Also, immediate secret. Yeah, oh wait, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, they are used for more than just skin procurement. Though, what they're used for won't come up for, I don't know, another 15, 16 videos. Something stupid like that. Great. Yeah. I never see you throwing the bombs, and I always just, it just always looks like the robots just blowing themselves up. <laughs> so, a couple of staples that are in the Ratchet and Clank games normally aren't available right away in this game. First of all, you have no helicopter pack, ra rocket pack for Clank. Uh, you have a finite amount of air underwater. You can't turbo underwater. It's just really, really weird. That's just the theme of this game. Like, back when it first came out, it was amazing. But compared to the rest of the series, this game is just like complete and utter garbage. Yeah, it is nice that they let you carry over the power-ups in the game instead of making you get new ones every time. Uh, sort of, yes. Other lesser games would not have done this. There are a couple things that you have to re-get in the later games, but the air mask and the jet pack for the water, not one of them. Oh well, yeah, you can keep those around. So where the hell are you going to find another one? I know, right? Hey, possibly God. Dad, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking! The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's M screen! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. 
I've never seen him look so freaked out. So yeah, the running theme in this game is that everybody's a jerk. Yeah. We're jerks. Yeah, well, we are. But there's actually a significantly sig significantly higher jerk to not jerk rati ratio. And I will be keeping track of them. For instance, the plumber sold us something that we absolutely need to progress the plot. Therefore, jerk. See, those are the platforms you came in on. Yeah, but it's like a completely different path. Point is, you walked through that, and that's apparently sewage. Wearing the wretch. Alright, so before we go down to the actual meat of the level, we have one more side area to go. Mainly because I don't want to go down there before I get the flamethrower. I just realized that anyone who didn't watch the commentary of the cutscene isn't going to understand what I was talking about back there. Yeah, I'll edit it out. If you watch this and didn't, just go back and watch commentary of the cutscene. Yeah. Okay, and something weird about the recording is that whenever a pop-up like that appears, it stays to the side. It's probably because the game doesn't assume that you'll be recording this, and therefore it makes it go off the TV, because it wasn't showing up on my TV. So you're just going to have to live with the air gauge over there. Oh, that was going to turn out. Wait! Luckily it goes away after, like, cutscenes and stuff, I think. Oh. oh. But we're not going to run into another cutscene for a while. Seriously, you are just destroying the ecosystem. Hey, uh, bolts are really hard to come by in this game, so you gotta smash up as much as you can. Stalactites took thousands of years to- Look how quickly your air goes away, god damn! Lombaxes are not an aquatic species. True. Well, maybe they are, they have flipper feet. <laughs> they never bring up the fact that Ratchet is a Lombax, they never call him a Lombax by name. In fact, the only mention of the word Lombax is when you get, I think, after you beat the game and you unlock the uh, sketchbook. No, sketchbook is after 15 skill points. Hey, this wall that doesn't look any different from the rest of the environment, you have to blow that up for a gold bolt. I, I gathered that, actually. Yeah. I gathered that when you did it. It's just a dick move because it doesn't look any different from the rest of the wall. Like, you can kind of tell the difference in the HD version, but, like, if you're playing the regular version on the PS2, fuck you! And on a CRT. Yeah. How did we put up with CRTs? Fuck no. Uh, because there's nothing better that we could do. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, that's all this path is good for, is that cobalt. That's, that's the entire reason this side area exists. I'm recently sure that I can hold my breath at least three times as long as Ratchet. Yeah. And now we finally have enough money for the flamethrower. And the flamethrower is actually a pretty good weapon. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Oh, and another flaw of the game is that you only get half your ammo when you buy any given weapon. They don't even have the courtesy to top you off. You know, for a game that prided it, pride, yeah. prided itself, I guess that's the word, on unique weaponry, it starts you out with grenade and flamethrower. Yeah, well, it wasn't so much unique as it was it had the most weapons of any game. It has like, I don't know, 20 four weapons, I think? And then, like, six more gadgets or something like that, and it was... I think at the time, there was no game on the market that had that many weapons. I think some of the Serious Sams beat that. I don't know. And, as we all know, later, the weapons just got more ridiculous. That was kind of... The... Wrench is actually a pretty viable weapon in this game because the weapons don't actually gain experience, so everything has, like, you know, a set amount of hit points that are actually pretty low. So.
so the wrench is pretty useful throughout most of the game. So like, roughly a third of this video has been picking up bolts. Yeah. I really hope we get the powers, the, the bolt pickup powers. Uh, I forget how long it takes in this game. It does make it a lot better, though. That is terrible lane. Yeah, they also have terrible range. You still have to jump to get your bombs further than their shots, but they still have pretty terrible range. You still don't want to go up against them with the flamethrower, so... Also, this thing... Remember that thing for later. I will. I will do that. It's special. Special... Unique or special short quest? Um... Special semi-unique. It's not unique to this world, but it is definitely not on every planet, and definitely not in any of the other games later. Really not a lot of enemies. No, they... Well, they ramp them up in later levels. But because you just have so few health, it would be cheaper than normal to just throw so many enemies at you. I fall down this hole on purpose, because there's crates down here. Who lost their money all the way back here and didn't even bother to go back and pick it up. Well, you know. Why would you even go back there? Also, another weird thing about this game is that you have to double tap triangle in order to switch to the weapon you previously used, and that the game doesn't pause when you're in your weapon selection menu. Hmm. That fucks me up so much. Or at least it used to. This playthrough I actually did relatively well. Oh no! Three guys, however will we deal with it? Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on, let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. So, yeah, we're already done this planet. I mean, we have to come back here for, I think, one thing. But aside from that... Oh, yeah, and also... The only skill point on this planet is you have to shoot down one of the fighters up in the sky. It's easier to do with a weapon you get later on, and I don't even bother coming back to get it because I've already got all 30 skill points in another file, so why bother? That's a good question. I'll show off some of the easier ones to get, but aside from that, fuck it. We're out of here. Yeah, we are out of here. 
Look, we make Clank get up by himself. Clank's got mad ups. I know. All right, and this is the galactic map. Exciting. Uh, dig those PS2 menus. 